Hello beautiful people, it's your girl Troy Lee, Holistic Nutritionist, and if you want to live a drug-free, pain-free life, I'm your girl. Drug-free, pain-free living starts in the kitchen and it ends with the pack, and there are a lot of other things in between that we're going to talk about. But today, we are in the kitchen and I'm going to be whipping up some vegan pepperoni that will go nicely on my vegan pizza. So, let's get to cooking. Our ingredients for today, tomato paste, maple syrup, vegetable stock, Worcestershire sauce, olive oil, vital wheat gluten, nutritional yeast, Italian seasoning, smoked paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, fennel seeds, coriander, red pepper flakes, salt and pepper already ground up. So we start with one cup of vegetable stock. Then we're gonna add two tablespoons of olive oil. two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, one quarter cup of tomato paste, one tablespoon of maple syrup, stir it till it's well mixed. Now for our dry ingredients, two cups of vital wheat gluten, one half a cup of nutritional yeast, one and a half tablespoons of Italian seasoning, one tablespoon smoked paprika, one teaspoon of garlic, two teaspoons of fennel seeds, two teaspoons of coriander, two teaspoons of salt, one teaspoon black pepper, two teaspoons onion powder, one teaspoon red pepper flakes. Now let's stir it all up. Now we're going to add our wet ingredients and blend everything together. I really should have had an apron on today because I'm making a mess of my clothes. But anyway, I am now just going to use my hands and get in here with this dough to kind of get it all together. Now, just depending on how much humidity is outside, I may need a little bit more vegetable broth or water uh, to put in here. Uh, but one of the things about this dough is you don't want to knead it too much. You just want to get all the ingredients in there together and then knead it for about one or two minutes. I'm going to need a little bit more vegetable broth in here. Folks, what I do is I make batches of vegetable broth, freeze them in an ice cube tray. That way I can take out just how much I need. So this is coming together nicely. As you can see, I'm not going to knead it a whole lot. I'm just going to make sure the ingredients are pretty much mixed in here. Yeah. If you need it too much, it'll be tough. So you don't want to need it too much. Okay, we are ready to make our pepperoni rolls. I have already pre-cut the parchment paper as well as the aluminum foil. First, I'm going to take the dough and tear it into eight pieces as equal as I can get it. It won't be exact, but that's perfectly okay. Then I'm going to take the dough and just roll it out into the shape of a long, elongated sausage. From there, I'm going to place this elongated sausage into the parchment paper and roll it up as tight as I can. Just tuck it in there really nicely. And once I have it rolled, I'm simply going to twist the ends, as you will see here in the video. There we go. And then I add the aluminum foil to the outside because these are going in the steamer. But I do this double step because I do not want the aluminum next to my food. Aluminum is not a good substance to be putting into your body. So that's why I do this double step. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight and they're ready for the Instapot. So here they are getting nestled in the Instapot. See, I have room there for eight. And now I'm gonna set this for, I'm gonna set it for 50 minutes on pressure cook. So here we are, they're all nice and done after 50 minutes. And I usually will let these sit for at least two hours in the refrigerator before I attempt to do anything with them. But I just want to show you this because I need to go do something else tonight. So I just want to show you the rest of this. So here we are. You can see, let me just bring it up. It's still a little hot. But you can just see that that's what that looks like. But looks are one thing, but taste is the main thing. So my dinner tonight is going to be pepperoni, broccoli, and avocado. I know it sounds wild, but it's going to be delicious. Mm. Now, if you really want this to mimic pepperoni, you need to put more oil in it because pepperoni is very, very greasy. So this has a nice spicy taste. Doesn't taste exactly like pepperoni, but it's a nice spicy sausage that I can enjoy with my meal. So this little puppy has about 25 grams of protein. Pretty nice, 25 grams of protein. It's gonna go in with my broccoli. I'm gonna smash some avocado around it and we're gonna get down tonight. Listen, thanks for joining me. I'll talk to you soon. Blessings, bye-bye.